Hey, what's up, you guys? Sean Allen here. Welcome to my next update here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Directly in front of me is the DreamWorks Theater. There it is, right there. It opened yesterday. The grand opening, I was there for it. If you guys want to see that video, go ahead and check it out. Check out the iCards annotation just popped up on the top right corner of the screen. I gotta tell ya, it's pretty cool. So I'm actually starting my day inside the park, a little bit further from the gate because I wanted to get my ticket and check out the DreamWorks Theater, but Kung Fu Panda decided he wanted to take a break early today, so yeah. <laughs> he has to go to Mr. Ping's noodle shop to get a few more noodles before he can go on stage, so we'll come back and see if it's back up and running. But right now, let's go check out the other areas of the park and see what else is going on. I guess you guys know where I'm at. No, not Disneyland. It's a different Magic Kingdom. In fact, it's a Wizarding World. That's right, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's a little busy over here in Hogsmeade. I'm also betting that it's going to be a little bit busy up at Hogwarts. Let's go take a look. Got the frog choir out right now. So I am pleased to announce that very soon we will be starting up the Nighttime Lights of Hogwarts. If you guys want to see the dates when we will be having them, check out the link provided in the description box down below. In case people are really confused as to what's going on, so the line for this side here is for either no bags, VIPs, which is we're going through right now, or for people who are single riders. If you have Universal Express and you got bags, you can go down the right-hand lane. That also includes guests that have bags that are not Universal Express. If you don't have a bag and you are Universal Express, you can stay to this lane right here. Just give you guys a little bit of a heads up because right now, during the summertime, it's going to be really busy over here. Oh yeah, and wheelchairs can also go down this lane too because we have a lot more space over here. Oh my gosh, it is so busy today. They say it's a 90 minute wait outside, but trust me, it's more than that. I saw the line for Universal Express and even the line for General Admission. Oh boy, they got their hands full today. I feel really bad for you guys. I'm sorry to not be able to help you out because I got GA duty today. Oh man. Right here between the Theater Cafe and Mel's Diner, we got more construction work going on right now for Halloween Horror Nights, right there. The facade has gone beyond the wall, as you can see. Wow, Ab above the wall, I should say, not beyond, but above the wall. I don't show this place that often, but this is the special effects stage show right here. It's where you can learn different special effects that are used in movies and even television shows. Heading into Springfield right now, and it just seems like the population in here keeps on increasing every time. So this area is being blocked off for the Kaiser event that's happening today. So this is only temporary. It's not going to be here forever. Looks like it's going to be some sort of a stage. That's pretty cool. So not a whole lot happening in Springfield nor the studio tour. So we're going to go down to the lower lot. Here we go. Check it out. The escalator next to the far left escalator is currently back up and running. Yay! That's stairway number one. This is stairway number two. It might be focus. No, I'm not in focus. So the escalator right here next to the far left escalator is still down. So stairway number one is okay. There's the studio tour, by the way. Right down there. There it goes. I don't think I've ever gotten a shot like this before, ever. <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. So I don't know if you can see it, but that soundstage directly behind Transformers, that's going to be where the Stranger Things maze is going to be. Right there. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. You just barely see it. It's right behind Transformers. Speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, look down there. Woo! Looks like it's going to be tight quarters in there. <laughs> you look way there by those sound stages you'll see the VIP trolley right there that's right every once in a while actually I think it's for all the tours for VIP you can actually go inside the sound stages that's pretty cool here is stairway number three the escalator next to the far left escalator is still down as well so basically stairways one and four currently have all the elevators I'm just say elevators all the escalators up and running but stairways two and three they still have some down there they are 
posters for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Premiering next week. And then we got Revenge of the Mummy. <laughs> All right, well, let's pull it right here for me. Easy girl, this is Blue, she is five years old. She's a big girl, she's about 10 feet tall, 16 feet long, she weighs 1,000 pounds. Good job ladies, these two are using the buddy system. Ooh, she's sniffing you. Over here by Jurassic Park, they got another stage set up here. It's a very, very small stage for the Kaiser Permanente event that's going on tonight. So it's only going to be temporary. We are Jurassic Park, Mummy, and Transformers. Not a whole lot's happening. Although, do keep in mind that Jurassic Park will be closing on September 3rd to make way for Jurassic World. That's right, it'll be going extinct in September 2018. Oh, Scooby's here. Look who's also here. Brand new. Fred is here. So now they have the whole entire gang. Everybody's here. Right now, Velma and Fred and Scooby are out. But Daphne and Shaggy are here as well, too. They're just not here. I guess they're on break. Very cool. Over here at the feature store, they got Jurassic World stuff right there. Very cool. Well, folks, that about wraps it up for this portion of the video where I talk about Universal Studios Hollywood. Now, we're going to head to the City Walk. Give me a few minutes, though, because I got to get my stuff because I got GA work today. Be back with you guys in just a second. So let's start off with the former Sod Ranch Chop House area here. The plot of land that was where the restaurant used to be. That's one angle right there. Check it out. The walls are down. That's the original wall right there. But look, they have this fence around the former property of Saddle Ranch. As you can see, they took out the really cool rock wall that was once here. They planted these trees here to block what's going on back here. From what I can tell, doesn't look like a whole lot is happening. It's just a flat piece of property right now. What's gonna be put in this place? I don't know, but time will tell. Oh, they also have these lights up here too. So here we are at Vivo Italian Kitchen. Still closed. Coming soon still. Anyways, uh, still waiting for that to open up. Sephora is still open too. Right over here, Universal Cinema. Look what they've got. A gigantic T-Rex. That is awesome. Let's have one of the vehicles that was used in Jurassic World. That's really cool. Oh yeah, that's right. That's called a gyrosphere. I completely forgot what it was called for a second. That is cool. So this is all a promotion for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which is coming out next week. That is pretty cool. This is the gyrosphere right here, as you can see. That is neat. The T-Rex in the background there, yikes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, folks, well, I got to run. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching in the scene. And as they say in Hollywood, that's a wrap. And don't forget to check out my playlist of other times I was here doing my updates at Universal Studios Hollywood. Show up right now on the end slate. See you guys.